Hey guys, so take a look at my recap here on lithium batteries versus seal lead acid batteries and a different type of lithium batteries. How much they're going to cost you to purchase originally? How much you're going to save in the long run? Do you actually save anything with lithium batteries? And is the performance worth it all? In any case, check it out. So guys, I finally bit the bullet and bought lithium batteries from a boat. And this is what I bought right here. It's a wise battery. I did a lot of research on it. And, you know, if I had to pay what they were asking for lithium in the beginning, $1,200, $1,400, $1,500 for a 12-volt, 100-amp-hour battery, I never would have done it. I got these batteries for $299 a piece. Now, before you say, I got a bunch of junk, let me explain what I got. So I had to upgrade my Dual Pro. It wouldn't charge fully a lithium battery. It would charge it to about 90 or 95%, but it wouldn't charge it fully, and I didn't want to mess with it. So Dual Pro, I sent it back in, and they charge $180 plus shipping to completely reconfigure your onboard charger here for lithium or AGM. It'll do either one, but it won't do SLA, sealed lead acid batteries anymore. So that's another expense that you'll have if you don't have, you know, a lithium grade or at least an AGM grade charger for the new batteries that you got. Hey guys, so is SLA sealed lead acid batteries even worth the money anymore? I've been running them ever since I've been bass fishing. You know, the 70s, I started with a trolling motor and a single 12 volt battery, SLA battery. And you know, with these, most of the newer trolling motors that have the power steering and everything going on with them, they burn a lot more amperage than a regular old cable steering trolling motor. So I started noticing that, man, I just couldn't get it done in a tough situation anymore in a tidal current river with a lot of wind and cooler weather. I was basically draining my 36 volt batteries, you know, and getting like 18 months out of these batteries, two years at the most, you know, the guaranteed for 18 months, I actually took one back and got a replacement battery because it went dead before 18 months. Uh, because when you, you drain your 12 volt batteries, if you drain them down, you, you, that's the death shot for them. I mean, they're just not gonna be much good after that anymore once you get to that point where you have to push and push and push them. And you know, I ended up with a dead cell in one battery and that kind of killed my other two batteries because I ended up running on 24 volts one day and it just killed them. So, I finally had decided that I was going to put lithium in my boat because I got tired of fooling with it. But I wasn't going to pay $1,200. I wasn't going to pay $1,500. I wasn't even going to pay, you know, $799 or $899. You know, and I want to do a comparison here. You got like Dakota lithium, which most people understand, you know, that they're, they advertise with bass and, you know, in the bass fishing scene. So people are familiar with that. So I'm just going to take them as an example against the batteries that I just showed you, the WISE batteries. And the WISE batteries, the only reason I purchased them, because I'd be very skeptical about purchasing some off-brand lithium battery because you don't know what's in the case. So I watched a video from a guy who tears these batteries apart and checks them out. And he vouched for these batteries. He has no affiliation with them whatsoever. He vouched for these batteries. He said they had, you know, great A cells, had BM, great BMS, temperature control in both directions, and everything on them was top notch. And Wise is an American company. Now, most, almost all lithium cells come from China, whether they're made in America or not as the battery unit. Uh, most all lithium cells come from China. You know, whether it's, you know, Dakota Lithium or Iconic or any of these others that you see in the bass fishing world. So I felt pretty comfortable with it. And what made me even feel more comfortable with it is that the Wise offered a 10-year 
warranty on these batteries. And I thought, well, Dakota Lithium, which, you know, leads the market with an 11 year warranty is only one year more. And it's pretty much the same voltage battery and amp hours and everything. And so I thought, well, I got nothing to lose with a 10 year warranty. So I purchased those batteries. So let's do a cost comparison here. If you were to buy a sealed lead acid battery, you know, a 31 series lead acid battery is going to cost you between $129 and $159 right now at a discount store like Sam's or Walmart uh, or some of these big stores, tractor supply even. In a Dakota Lithium 12 volt, 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour iron phosphate lithium battery is $899, $899 for one battery. This Weiss battery, these Weiss batteries that I just purchased are $299. And they're 12.8 volts, 100 amp hour, 10 year warranty. Both batteries have 2000 charging cycles. And when we're talking about charging cycles, they're talking about fully discharged charging cycles, 2000 cycles. If you discharge your battery 50%, which is kind of hard to do on a 36 volt lithium system, then you can get up to 8,000 8, charging cycles. Well, that's, you know, there's 365 days in a year and you can add that up real quick. That's three times eight, 24 years if you went fishing every day. I doubt they're gonna last that long. There's gotta be some catch there, but that's what they're all saying. But they're saying that a sealed lead acid battery has up to 500 charges. I don't believe that's even close to, to true. I've never charged a sealed lead acid battery 500 times. There's no way. If I go fishing 40, 50, 60 days a year, probably, probably 50 days a year on average or partial days, and up to a hundred some years, depending on how many tournaments and stuff I'm fishing. You know, that's at a hundred, you're at a hundred charges, right? And that means that battery's gonna last you five years. Not a chance, not a chance. You understand? That is like, man, that's like if you baby them and just burnt just a little bit off the top each time and then put them on a charger so I could get 500 cycles. So I think you get about maybe 150 cycles probably charging cycles out of a lead acid battery so but anyhow if it was 500 charges and a lead acid battery only has 50 percent of the power of a lithium battery right you understand that you you can only take a lead acid battery down to 50 percent of its charging value before it's stone cold dead where a lithium battery has closer to 100% discharge with a chart with a, a power curve like this and then the last minute it just dies. So it like gives you no warning. But uh, a seal lead acid battery, it discharges like that straight downhill the whole time. So even, you know, throughout the day it's getting less and less powerful whereas the lithium maintains its power and still, you know, has a lot of power left at the end of the day. So, so far I've had these out, I don't know, six, seven times now. And I on purpose stood on, like stood on these batteries. Instead of firing the motor up to idle somewhere, I just put it on 10 and go. And so I stood on these batteries for six and seven hours. And so far, when I get back at the end of the day, I put the tester on to see how many volts are left in them. And I'm still at about 95% voltage after standing on them all day long, 36 volt system. So it's pretty much unlimited power. And if they go 8,000 charging cycles, I probably don't need any more batteries in my lifetime, you know, unless I just want them. Uh, so, there's something to look at. So anyhow, let's get back to the price. $899 for a Dakota Lithium. At $899, dollars 
you can still you still come ahead because if you got a hundred twenty nine dollar sealed lead acid battery you'd have to with a fifty percent discharge rate based on how much power you're getting out of them you would have to buy eight sealed lead acid batteries to last the same number of discharges hundred percent discharges that a lithium battery has I did the math on it no need to go through it trust me on it you need eight seal lead acid batteries to replace one Dakota lithium or one Weiss battery so eight times 129 you know minus the cost of the Dakota lithium and you still came ahead $133 not that much really but you got full power the whole time and you don't have to fool with it for pulling seven batteries out every couple of years. And then if you take these waste batteries at $299, say you're saving like $800 per battery. You understand? And then you multiply that times three batteries. So you're saving, in the long run, you're going to save about $2,400 in battery cost with three waste lithium iron phosphate batteries versus seal lead acid and even Dakota lithium if you're using a 36 volt system three hundred thirty two so three hundred dollars you're gonna save three hundred dollars over the life of the lithium batteries with Dakota lithium so you can choose Dakota lithium or one of these name brands you're paying for a lot of advertising there I'm not busting them I'm sure they're good batteries the prices are coming down quick on lithium batteries but for my dollar, $299 lithium battery from Weiss is pretty much a no-brainer for me with a 10-year warranty. So anyhow, I hope this helps you guys you know, decide what you want to do with lithium or lead acid or AGM batteries in the future. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.